Hello there, my name is Brian Carlotti Cruz and I will show you a brief presentation about modern day Filipino heroes. See how these heroes have shaped our nation not only for today but for future generations. Here are some modern day Filipino heroes for us all. Nina Aquino, Cory Aquino, and what this presentation is really about, Unsung Heroes. Nina Aquino, who was a senator and opposition leader against Marcos. Yet the hunger strike for 40 days is a sign of protest against the Marcos government and because of this, he was assassinated more than 25 years ago. Even though he died long ago, his life is still an inspiration for us all. How he inspired us. His death led to the Edge Revolution, which led to Marcos being removed from power. This brought democracy back to our nation. Cory Aquino. She led the Edge Revolution when her husband died. She stood for democracy and fairness not just during her presidency, but all throughout her life. She calls us to fight for our country even through the worst of times because it was our duty and obligation to love our country. Her legacy. She died last August 1 and was buried on August 6 with the entire nation, the entire country proclaiming her as a hero. There's a short video of, about Cory Aquino and her life. Unsung heroes. Our country is desperately looking for heroes who can inspire us. Little do we know there are thousands or even millions of heroes around us who can serve as an inspiration for us all. I conducted a brief survey on who people thought was one modern day hero they thought should be most admired. The top three were OFWs, soldiers, and teachers. OFWs. They are credited for helping the economy of our country to the currency they remit. They also do this for their family to have a good future and for our country to prosper. To love our country, we have to be willing to sacrifice for it. We have to be willing to put our country before our personal wants. So in this table, there are about 500,000 OFWs in just 5 countries and there are about 1 million OFWs worldwide. OFWs are also patriotic for their country. In this image, overseas Filipino workers in Hong Kong are opposing the corruption of the Gloria administration. Despite being in another country, they continue to love the Philippines immensely and unite to fight for the Philippines.
soldiers. Day in and day out, they risk their lives for our country. The pay is low, and our soldiers could choose another job that doesn't involve all hours of hardship that they experience and the risk they take every day. They should really be admired for their courage and their compassion for our country. They should also be praised because they embody nationalism and love for the country. In a sad event, 23 soldiers gave their lives in the war in Basilan last August 12. May their lives serve as an example of us that we have to fight for our country, to fight for its safety and freedom. As a token of appreciation, the government gave the families financial aid, medals, and scholarships. But the true love that they showed for their country, for our country, can never truly be repaid. And teachers. Teachers may also be considered as modern-day Filipino heroes. They neither risk their lives or go to another continent. They mold heroes as they themselves are heroes. They serve our country by molding the minds of students who will one day be the future of our country. So here's a brief summary. The heroes mentioned to become our role models and how to become a true Filipino, a Filipino who will love his country above all things, above himself even. Any of us can be a hero by loving our country immensely and being nationalistic. Loving our country requires us to sacrifice for it and to do things which will benefit our country. So thank you for viewing my presentation. May this presentation hopefully inspire us for us ourselves to become modern day heroes. Hopefully we'll be learn to love our country. We'll learn to love our country above all things. And hopefully we'll learn we will learn to love not only just our country but our fellow Filipinos for true love of our country is not measured through words but through deeds. So thank you for viewing my presentation.